affected me by giving me a lot of new opportunities and chances to be creative. Um, I've met a lot of new people. It's, it's a great way to express myself. It lets me say things that I can't really put into words. So right now, um, Victoria is working on a painting. The subject is supposed to be something um, students had to pick an everyday object, so it was something that they either see or use every day. And so I really encourage kids to take their own photographs. So she took that upon herself. She went home and um, kind of set some objects up that were that she sees every day in her own house, but they have some sentimental value to her. So she set them up and then took her own picture and then uh, has brought that in. And then she's painting it with acrylic paint on a canvas board. And she's kind of using a different color scheme. So it's not realistic in the colors. Like there's a, a ceramic draft in the picture and the draft right now is two different values of blue. So she's kind of taking her own little creative spin on the, the assignment. This is my current project and we're supposed to work on using acrylic paint to paint everyday objects that we see and uh, I see this draft every day in my living room and I just decided to paint it blue. My senior project was painting a 62 and a half foot mural on the outside of North Star Montessori School and it was constellation themed because it's North Star Montessori. So that was really fun. It was for the kids play area. So my aunt is an artist and I used to always draw and paint with her when I was little. And my grandma on my other side of my family is also an artist. And so as I got older, I started painting with her in my free time too. And so it was just kind of a hobby that I did every now and then until probably fifth or sixth grade when I got really into art. I think she draws and paints a lot outside of class, so that's kind of exciting. I like it when students are really have a natural interest in art, and so um, and then obviously she has a lot of talent. So when she's in class, she always does really, really well. My favorite type of art is surrealism, which is where you take a lot of different images and combine them in a way that doesn't really seem real. And so it's kind of it kind of has a dreamlike effect or like something that you'd see in a dream, but you wouldn't really. In real life. My latest surrealism project was in colored pencil and it was based off of the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and there's a hand and the basilisk is coming out of the thumb and there's a spider web on the palm and Aragog is running off of it. The paint things um, just because I feel like it. Um, I have a lot of crazy ideas that I'm just trying to get down on paper.